Hey guys, Larry Chen here. I'm in Australia. I'm in Sydney and we're actually here for the PRP GTR festival. My friend Andrew Hawkins actually invited me and we're at his shop right now. We're gonna do something a little different um, for this event. I'm actually going to try to vlog it chronologically, but right now we're just checking out his shop. I literally just landed 7 a.m. It's 9 a.m. right now. We're going to check out some of the cars that they have here. First off, they have this pretty cool Nismo Note. This is interesting. We never got this. It's very cool. Some nice seats. This is um, Andrew's personal GTR, which we're going to do a full feature on. But this one is very, very famous and it is pretty insane here. This gold R33 GTR is pretty cool. I love the plate. Not secret. I love that gold badge too. But I, I know there's uh this there's um interesting story behind this one. And we'll talk to the guys a little bit about it. But yeah, this is uh Moto Video, also where the GTR Hub magazine is based out of and this is his personal shop. We got some oh we got Tom Cruise here. We got Tom Cruise uh, sitting in the driver's seat of this S15. You didn't know that Tom Cruise liked SR20s? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tom Cruise likes a lot of things, including SR20s. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Whoa, look at this. This, Zanke. this is the time warp right here is what this is. Yeah. Look at the wing. Yo, this is Fast and Furious straight spec. Off the Batmobile. Straight up Fast and Furious spec. Look at, these are all custom made, like uprights and everything. So this cool. is so, so cool. I like the paint, like chameleon style paint. But look at the rear seats. I really hope this is going to the show tomorrow. This is, this is not a GTR, sir. No, but that's okay. Like, <laughs> I think this has earned its place. This is so crazy. Look at this. Look at the interior. It's Have you guys seen an interior this crazy? I, it makes me wonder what motor is in it. It's like a lazy boy in, in there. Look at those flames too. And the wheels. Jeez. <laughs> For what these it is, wheels. it's really cool. Would you, would you cruise that? I, I don't know if I, I would cruise it. <laughs> I love the front end. It's really What cool. is this they for? Oh, the okay. Wing, so they're actually ah. picking the chassis up up there. That's cool. Because when this car was in its prime, I was like about seven years old. And this car was like, if you wanted to build an SR20, you had to look up up, up to this up car to, to know how to do it. Yeah. Can we take a look at that? Whoa. So uh -huh. this is like just of its era. Wow, look, I love that they. The breather. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Whoa. Look at this mirror finish. It's bad, eh? This is so cool. It's bad, bad, like bad meeting. Bad. Good. No, I don't remember. I personally don't remember being a low mount back then. Yeah. But, yeah. I remember being a high mount. It's not typical no. to do low mount. Hey, Mickey. It's, it's like a mirror in here. Hi. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, attention to detail is crazy. Yeah. So what, what year was this built? From when I remember it, it would have been it would have been late nineties, early early thousand. Like, it would have been late nineties, yeah. Late nineties. Yeah. So look at the seats. Yeah. Wait, so so who actually built this? I could be wrong, but from memory, back in the day, this was built by Jet Speed, which was a body kit company. In, oh. Uh, around about half an hour from here. Um, I can't remember if it was Jet Speed or if it was Cyber Automotive. There was a few of them doing this car show scene stuff. 
And this was like literally what kept Sydney going in the car scene. Look at these gauges. They're that's a Nismo, definitely that's a Nismo part, dude. That re that's really like in your face. No, seriously, that insert in the door where the gauges. This that is an actual Nismo part. Yeah, huh. that was available through the Nismo catalog. I don't know why it has a Blitz gauge in it because they had a Nismo gauge as well. That's pretty cool. I had no idea. Yeah, that thing is probably one of the more expensive parts on this car at this point. I like this. This is pretty cool. Look at Negative this. space on this hood is insane. <laughs> it's like 3D. It's, it's unorthodox, but it's interesting. I like it. This is his circuit car. Oh. This is Andrew's time attack car. Oh, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually like a running, driving time attack yeah, car. Yeah, well, there's, there's a gearbox out of it at the moment. But yeah, this is like a VE head. 2.2 uh, liter deal. It's a little bit more current than that thing. What's, um, what's the story with that gold member? Yeah, that car, back in the day, I was... So my uncle brought that car into Australia. So he was dealing with Top Secret back then and he had a few cars from Top Fuel back in the day. And Wait, that, this was actually built by Top Secret? That car was built by Top Secret. So by we Smokey brought that in the game. by Smokey, yeah. Mm. So we brought that, um, or they brought that, they brought it back into the country. I think it was, uh, I'd have to go back in the years, but I think it was late, early, early 2000. And um, we just had it here as a bit of a display, used it for some dyno comps and some shows. And that ended up being the car that one night we were going to do some back then. There was a lot of street racing around in the, in the scene back then. So we were going to do some street racing and the car we had wasn't quite finished. And that was the car we ended up taking. And that was when I was 11 years old. Wow. So like, yeah, that car's been around it's, since it, I was a kid. It, like GTR, Australia GTR history right here, huh? Super cool. The gold uh, badges are actually 22 karat gold plated. Oh my God. They're not like the Nissan gold one. Skyline shed got them made. So the GT badge on the side is actually 22 karat gold. So is the front one and the rear one. That is so, so cool. I, used to do, I, used to do <laughs> I love that. I've never done that. I'm that. not normally that guy. That is so cool. Real gold. Yeah. So cool. A lot of gold. I love that. I love that. Yeah. All right, so this is like history of car scene stuff. This is Ignition DVD. This is where I like, kind of, I guess, officially started working in the automotive media industry. I was already working for AutoSound as a commentator. They featured my car here, and they actually didn't feature it because it was an awesome car. They featured it because like a budget build that I used to race a lot <laughs> and just thrashed it. So they featured it, and I spoke well, so they hired me, and this is where I started work, is here in number four. And you know how you can tell that I started work? Oh, sorry, number four. He's gonna had JDM cars on the cover straight away, and I made sure I featured a you know big horsepower GDR straight away. So that's how you knew I'd started. What year is this? Uh, this is the start of 2005. So then I made Ignition DVD here, and you can all the way to issue 33, and check out what's on the cover of issue 32, Greedy Evo. Because nice. about here somewhere, I started working for D Sport and started making D Sport DVD. If anyone remembers mm, that, yeah, so if any yeah. you're a, I feel like issue 32 should have had. It. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, <laughs> that would be too easy. Yeah. So, <laughs> we did some special editions, blah blah blah, and then we started Motive uh, DVD at the time. So anyone that's known me long still says Motive DVD. That's how my that's how my missus works out whether people have known me a long time. And then we did DVDs all the way through to 31. I don't know why 31's not there. Um, yeah, but if you go back even further, later, while you're here on this trip, this this was a VHS when it came out, hard tuned imports. Mm -hmm. And this is when I fell in love. Actually, this made me fall in love with GDRs. Were these Australia? Yeah, Australia. So people going to America. There, yeah. This wasn't this was. in the States? Or no, no, it, was? it wasn't. Okay. So like it was when it was too hard. And then, why we never saw and then yeah. High Performance yeah. Imports DVD came out, or VHS at the time. And this is how you'd watch everything from Japan. He's watching these. Andrew, if I would have had access to these when they were coming out, I probably would have been a Skyline nerd way sooner yeah, than yeah. I Yeah, I was. That, there's literally an exact pinpoint moment in this where I can go <laughs> in well, love with GDRs now. Yeah, cool. it's like, bing! <laughs> Yeah, so this so, is uh, Andrew's office. This is my claim to fame. Right? Oh, <laughs> wait. Are you in that one? I'm in this video, yeah. Oh, okay. This is when yeah, Vaughn, this is when Vaughn, <laughs> yeah. this is the event I was just telling Adam LZ about. Oh. We are standing there talking, we were where the judges stand was for this event uh, back in 2004. 
What? So we're like 20 years removed. That was when you were working at Falcon. Yeah. So yeah. young and that is yeah. so cool. slightly more dumb. So you've got some good issues. Check there. this out. I've, I, so I've, for clients, I used to make Power Cruise DVD. I've made Jamboree DVD over here as well. Like this, see? Jamboree so DVD. Cool. I don't think I, I mean that one. because this is what people did before YouTube. Yeah, you know? before YouTube, this yeah, is what it you was, did. It actually had to be a DVD yeah, yeah. that you would pop into a back then. A like it, it wasn't anyone can do it world. Like yeah. back when there was magazines and DVDs, you, you had to be pretty serious to to make this happen. But now with YouTube, it's like well, no one was, kids uh, have it. Oh, yeah. I love that's <laughs> and, and that's one was, of my favorites. Wasn't this the um, built by Legends guys produced this? Uh, yes, 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 yes. They did that. Yep. I, I was such a big fan of that. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, perception <laughs> reality. It's two different things. All right, you guys are getting a preview of this uh, picture that Andrew has that's uh, framed up and everything. So this is something that Hoonigan did. This is actually my picture that I shot on the set of Jim Connor with Travis Pastrana. This is my remote camera. And the funny thing is, I'm actually in my own picture. So I set up the remote camera and I s stood in this, this boat. This is like and that's actually where I triggered this photo. But um, yeah, I signed this and also, of course, Travis signed this too. But you guys should be able to buy these soon from Hoonigan. He's for the event. That's uh -huh. one of the trophies. Oh, that's a nice trophy. Two wheel turned into a three piece. Oh, that's <laughs> super cool. <laughs> I, I'd run those. <laughs> and here's the other one. Oh, what? That's the 33 trophy? Yeah, so these are the two main trophies for the event. The stand has all the riding on it, but yeah. You have my uh, Hot Wheels too. What do you mean? I got like four of them last night, so. Yeah. <laughs> Heck, I'd sleep here. <laughs> I just bought Group A car. Oh, that is this so is a, neat. This is actual team merch from 1991, signed by Jim Richards, who won Bathurst. That is so cool. And then I've even got official, like, official team merch from no 91, way. 92. So that's actual team clothing from one of the guys on the team. I love Check that. It. See, Gibson Motorsport. That is so cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like this. I love the simple livery. It's super cool. Yo, what did I just step into? Look at this. S1 engine, Omari factory, GDA. Which, by the way, I apologize. I'm going to say GDA a lot because uh, Dino is requesting that anytime I say Nissan GTR, I replace it with GDA since I'm in Australia. I like this color though of the 33. Look at that. This is cool. But this, this is what dreams are made of right here. This is amazing. Respec 2. Got a lot of these uh, wagons, including this one. Uh, I think Mickey and the guys are going to be driving this one around. We never got these in the US, so this is really special. Check out that Pajero just, yeah. just, standing, there. just standing there. King. <laughs> just the king. You have got another tune here? Sorry, S tune right there. That's that one. That's a factory built S tune. Um, I bought that in 2000 and wow, 2011. That's a car of yours? Yeah. Wow, that's a yeah. keeper right there. It is. It is. You won't yeah. sell it, huh? Uh, well, if actually, the money was right, but yeah, I don't know. If it starts with six figures, maybe. <laughs> this is incredible, it though. Starts with six figures. <laughs> so it, it would have to. Yeah, it would have to because there's only they only built I think 14 yeah. of them. Yeah, it's, I'll sh I'll should pop the bonnet and show you everything. Like, yeah, let's check it out. <laughs> you want to talk about a plate? Like yeah, that's, that's the plate yeah. to have. Wow. So Nine MR. This is the car he drives this every my, day. This is my this is my this is my car. <laughs> this yeah. is your daily my driver. My personal car. Yeah. See, we didn't we never even got these. I, I think it looks great. I love wagons. I think this is super cool. You're going to be driving this around, Mickey? I guess so, yeah. I'm excited Shoot, about it. Dude, what a daily driver. Yeah, so we're going to we're gonna actually review this car on our YouTube channel. So I'm excited to actually get to experience it. Because we have built Evo 9s, Evo 8 and 9s before, but never a wagon. And I love ah. wagons. So it's a really cool opportunity. Yeah, so if you guys want to check that out, check out the Throttle channel for that. This is so incredible. So this whole warehouse, 
Always. It's it's a mix of your personal cars and customer uh, cars. Got, I've got some personal cars and customer customers' cars, but what also we do here is um, any car that comes from overseas, whether it's Europe, Japan, mainly 99% is Japan. Uh, we also do the ADR rules and regulations, like to comply them to be able to register them uh, in Australia. So then, why is it that you guys have all these skylines here? Are you still bringing them from Japan now? Yeah, we're still we're still bringing from Japan, but um, funny enough, they don't last long. As soon as they get off the boat, we had eleven arrive about three weeks ago, and they all. That's they all were sold within 24 to 48 hours. That's really surprising to me because Australia, you guys were able to buy these brand new. We were only able to buy the R35 GDR brand new. But, yes, you are right, there was one model, which was the R32, but there was only a one year window and they were limited numbers. I'm pretty sure they're under 100 were oh. ever sold in Australia. But, uh, and then you were always able to import them. We're able to import first the rules and regulations was 15 years and then they changed it when they realized there were so many cars flooding the market uh, to 20 uh, sorry to older than 88 model and then in 2020 they changed it to 25 years again mm -hmm. but we could in between because they weren't sold new here we could do the ADRs and compliance to be able to import them and sell them here God, yeah. God. They, they weren't pretty much popular uh, uh, they were very popular at one stage then the market died off and then and it's been crazy in the last three to four years incredible that is so cool yeah i love that yeah. so cool can we take a look at the engine bay on this one do you drive this on the street at all no no <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only here for the gdr festival oh Otherwise it's stored away in a in a location that no one knows. Undisclosed location. <laughs> Secret location. Secret location. This, the LM, and a couple of other few toys. Yo. So. Wow. So it's real S tuned with the with the build plate and everything. Can I take a photo? Incredible. Yeah, of course. Of course. This is a this is a special one. This is so super did you special. Guys do this stuff? Uh, yes. Yeah, we did the head, the head of tank. Too. See, when I bought it in, uh, uh, yeah, when I bought it in, it wasn't. It was special, but it wasn't an extra special car. Now, now it's, it's gone crazy, up. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy because this is the way it came from the factory, factory. huh? Yeah. It came wow. with a whole heap of books. So this did it is. Yeah, full documents. Yeah. And so this, this actual car was retaken back to the Nismo Amori factory. Well, actually the Fukuoka factory. And it was a V-Spec 2. And they stripped the whole car, ground up, interior, engine transmission brakes everything was upgraded on the car and i've got all the documentation came this in a little box so cool so if you have a look at the interior all the interior has been redone from nismo itself through or through nismo i should say it's a brand new car yep still is yeah it still is a brand new car look at that yeah smells like japan yeah it does doesn't it <laughs> they all smell the same <laughs> it's like bmw smell like crayons yeah GTRs also have a sim their own like yeah. distinct smell. So, this is so cool. So this is similar to what they're doing now with the CRS, the car Sorry. Sorry. I hope you never sell this car. If you do, it's enough money to retire. It is because yeah. this is a, such a unique, it's a unique piece, piece of, of history. It is and so these these stripes were added, or these came oh, on the they, S2. They were added. Okay. So it didn't come with the stripes. But this is significant. This is yeah, like something is. that would have been on one of these cars. That's right? right. Or you could option it. It was an option. Okay. Yeah. This is so cool. Larry, would you trade yours for this? I mean, in a heartbeat. <laughs> I like Bayside Blue, but this is just so yeah. cool. I love it. See, I could appreciate all different kinds, you know, in oh. different states. And 100%. this is like a brand new vehicle. It is. It is. Amazing. So how many kilometers on this? I think it's got, I've got to grab the freeze. I think it's got about 20,000 now. Okay. That's, that's. <laughs> look at the seats. Look at the leather seats. Yeah, the leather the... seats all been redone. That is so cool. Do they, so is it retain the bin that it came out of the back yes. of it? Yes. Amazing. This is, what is this? Yeah, it's an LM edition factory. Oh. One of only 140, I believe. One hundred, one out of 140 LM, but this is just, the way this f sits, the fitment, just the build.
This is, uh, is a sili brass? silica brass, and it's I believe it's only one of thirty. Yeah, silica in this brass color. is really rare. This is really rare color. Yeah, we've had the same thing. Had this since two thousand eleven, and then a friend of mine, one of our best friends, begged me for it, um, <laughs> and I said, sure, why not? You know. It's good to see that, look, it's still within the family, so yeah. to speak. Wait, are you going to take this to the festival yes, then? Yes, this okay. is going, that's going, that's going. Mm -hmm. This is going. Oh, it's just an m spec. Should, should be open. Should be open. Um, is it open? Yeah. yeah it's a genuine Jeez. m -spec. It comes with a leather interior, heated leather seats. <laughs> oh, that's what I want to check out, actually. I want to see the heated seat button. Ah, it's yeah. On the, on the set, on the, yeah it's There's on the one on the left and one on the right. Yeah. So that's I'm going to put heated that. seats in my 34, <laughs> so I want to buy these switches. Oh, what? And I, I actually found that the switches are actually just a generic, um, a s generic heat seater switch. They're not a Nissan specific. Wait, but what usually comes there? Is it blank? It's usually blank. Oh. Yeah. So, but the switches I found, the seat, the, the seat with the heat things coming out of them, it's turned sideways because normally you would mount it up and down. Well, Nissan turned the switch sideways and whoever makes the switch also changed the logo to That's sideways. That's cool. Because I, I have a bad back and the heated seats are really good for my back. So I'm going to put that in. That'll be That's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Dude, this is a neat car. It's too. so clean. I just... The fitment, everything is just so nice, and never mind the rally car. <laughs> don't worry about I that. mean, don't don't even That's mention that. Is yeah. that, is uh, that one of your toys? Yeah, I've had it for about two and a half years. I, I haven't even I've only driven it once. It was uh, it's been stored in. I've got another warehouse. It's a real rally car. Why are light pods like? Yeah, Rally it's... cars are sick, but then when you put the light pods on, it's just a whole other level. Oh my like, god, this is just so cool. These ones are neat, the corner pods. This is really actually, cool. Yeah, I actually bought this off a, off a car collector in Japan. I've actually got a Tommy Mackinnon, with the red with the Marlboro stickers. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you have so many cool cars here. I, I have like car ADD when it comes to all the cars that you have here because <laughs> as soon as I start talking about one, I just want to see, talk about the other. Look at this is a Winfield, I think it was a cigarette brand. And look at they have the, hel the health is. warning on the side, smoking <laughs> okay, <kills. yeah. laughs> That's part of the livery. Yeah, I think yeah, that's kind of cool. Part of the livery, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised they don't have a picture of like a rotten <laughs> mouth or something on it. This example, I think it's only a forty-three thousand. What? Whoa! This, what's uh, this? Forty-three thousand kilometers. Oh, this one. This is a very interesting car. Yeah. Is this Wait, it's a four-door. Twenty-six DE car. Uh, RB twenty-six. DET. Thirty-four G GTR motor. GTR running gear. Oh wait, this is um. This it's was a, a GTS. GTS this is a GTST. I've seen I've seen one of these uh, at the uh, Zama collection. It's a, it's um it actually comes with a 26 DE. This is an RB20. Oh, okay. This is RB20. This has been converted. Okay, got so, it. So, but this is original RB20 on four wheel drive. Yes. Manual, but yeah, um, I bought it out of Japan like this. Oh, sorry, really? sorry, it's dirty, guys. Oh, it's okay. It's actually getting cleaned today and stick it up as well. So this I is see going it to has the, the wider well. guards. Yeah, so it's got the wider guards, it's got the bumper, the bonnet. They've even flared the rear guards. I don't know what they've done there, 100%. So this is the R32 version of the 40th anniversary. Yeah, yeah the Autech. <laughs> but they yeah, had an Autech. They had an Autech yeah, R32. Yes, but yeah, it was a, nice. but it was an NA car. NA, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's got the six feet magnet in it too. Oh, you have the gauges. This uh, is cool. The GTR gauges in there. Floor mats. Yeah. 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 GTR nerds unite. <laughs> I love this. I love this. The uniqueness of these type of builds. Yeah. It's nice. I'll just, yeah. I don't think you can There's, there's, uh, there's my car sitting on the rack right there. This thing is so clean though, huh? Uh, it's a V-spec. It's a very clean car. It's yeah. for a customer. It's actually going to South Australia. Really? Yeah, so we're doing the compliance work, oh, wow. the ADR input. Is, is it really hard to do the compliance work? I mean, do you have to change a lot of things for it to be on the legal? Old, on the old system, yes. On the new system, not as much. But there is a lot of work processing because we've got to actually technically get it signed off by an engineer stating that everything's standard on the car mm. so if it's modified it brings us an issue got it um yeah 
Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I got them both here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. This is a unusual sight for us, Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, that was that was traded in. So yeah. we've just advertised that we're going to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Right hand drive. That's cool. Yeah. Two door. Yeah. What is this? That's a Blazer? Oh, Tahoe? Yeah, Tahoe? Blazer or Tahoe? This would even be unique in the States. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right hand drive. Send it back. See that? <laughs> well, they put they put yeah, corner lights. Cool like, on. Yeah. So, so this is part of the compliance. The JDM process. spec. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the back. ADM. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, this is actually a pretty cool hot rod. This is cool. Yeah. Look at how big this pane of glass is. <laughs> so it's bigger than the car. Jeez, look at the underside of this car, though. It is really clean. This is a very, very clean. It is. Car with stock wheels. Yeah, these are worth the fortune. Oh, yeah, cool. now they're worth something else. Yeah. Sorry, you you do a lot of these pedestrian cars then too, huh? These uh, these are the old uh, electric vehicles. We do these for actually a certain company. Oh. They they buy them, and we do all their compliance work. And they're, they're actually uh, they're all over Australia, and every time they come in and then they just get shipped out so it's not just enthusiast vehicles no I oh it's mainly enthusiast vehicles because i love them i'll only i'll only import what i'd like to drive you know but we also like service for cus other motor dealers and customers as well this is so cool so, we so what is the business actually called cars from japan cars from japan australia or just cars uh, from just japan? cars from japan at the moment uh -huh. um but we're working on updating the name Got it. Cars we'll still have Japan. cars from Japan in there. Right, right. That's super cool. Yeah. Huh. And then if they, if anybody wanted to see your inventory, where do they go? Yeah, cars just from Japan. carsfromjapan.com.au. Got it. Nice and easy. This is so cool. So this is the funny thing is um, I've done a couple of these videos, um, especially like with Top Rank in Japan. Yeah, no, Sean. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, a lot of people like to complain that, you know, some somebody like Top Rank is hoarding all the GTRs. Well, that's not the case, you know. No, no. These things come in, go out, you know, yeah. and and they they're going to be loved by the next owner, and that's right. I'm sure they were loved by the previous owner, and 100%. they they just change hands, you know. And I always I always tell my customers when you're done with the car, if you want to, if you want to go back to, you know, you don't want your GTR, you don't want your Evo, come back to us, give us first priority at purchasing it back. Yeah. Because I know how hard it is. Um, I'm one month in Japan, one month in Australia. That's how I, I rotate my months. And I know how hard it is to find vehicles and of high quality and no rust, no, you know, major accident history. And, you know, I personally buy the cars on the ground in Japan. And I actually also teamed up with a couple of car collectors. Like, that's how I got the the Evo 5. I've actually got an Evo 6 Tommy Mackinac as well. That's all got the livery as well. And it's just all about being passionate about the car and that's what makes your business work you know? yeah oh that's great and yeah i mean because for the longest time you know we were just not able to enjoy any of these cars in the right. u.s that's and right. finally that we're, we're getting a chance to enjoy these vehicles um like they're new to us and obviously they're old vehicles it's nice to be able to find nice versions of them 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. this is silly too that's a suzuki mighty boy with a I love that. <laughs> this, this is actually going to be Andrew's uh, golf cart for the day. That is. Yeah, we're going to wash it up. Why does it say 200 kg on it? Uh, it's a, uh, GT, like the Hakasuka, the 71 Skyline. <laughs> oh, 200 kg. Yeah, sorry, that's all I can carry. <laughs> so that, that takes that takes me out of the picture. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, and also we got um, we're friends with Tommy Kyra in Japan. Um, we get special cars from them all the time. We've most probably got about, uh, in a personal collection, we've got about maybe about seven or eight Tommy Kyra GTRs nice. at the moment. So this is just yeah, so cool. Yeah. Amazing. Again. All that. So we're gonna check out this uh, Subaru. Is it called a STI? STI 204? S204, S204, yeah. STI S204. Yeah. And what year is this? Uh, 2006. Huh. And it's like the Hawkeye 
front end. It's a Hawkeye front end. But I, um, I've actually never seen one in person. So no, yeah, it's it, very rare. They're very rare, only 600 made. It comes with a built plate. Okay, so this is number 452. Out of 600, yeah. Okay, and then what's special about it? What, what so does these, it come with? It comes with uh, equal headers underneath, so it doesn't sound as much as a Subaru, you know, with the boxer, in, like with the, that note, the boxer note. Um, also comes with bigger brakes, six pot on the front, four on the rear. The authentic BBS STI wheels. Oh, wow. That's legit. Yeah. And also comes with these rare carbon Kevlar seats as well. Oh, from so the factory. From the factory. So only the S203, S204 came with these seats. This is so cool. Yeah. Now if you open up the back door, you'll see the back door is carbon. Yeah. This, this exhibit has got 120,000 kilometers. This is well used then. Yeah. But I'll grab the keys for it. How much are these going for? <laughs> They're worth between 65 and 75 grand, 65 to 75,000 AUD. Depending on the Depend condition. Depending on the condition and stuff. Um, it's, you know, I wish it was uh, one of 500, we could have maybe taken it over to the States. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, because you it's know, show, and display. show and display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so it depends on the condition. Um, there has been some very low kilometers worth close to the 90 mark, 100 mark. These are cool. Uh, yeah. I like I like it. But also it's rare in the black. Yeah. They only come in black, they come in black, gunmetal grey and blue only. Mm. Alright, ready? Here we go again. Yep, I know, it's saying that we don't have a card in here. Oh, it, yeah, it, so, it doesn't sound like a Subaru. That's why they put, on all, like, serious races, they put the equal headers underneath. It just distributes everything nice and it doesn't sound like the boxer sound. No, it doesn't have a boxer sound at all. And this is all stock. Stock is in the front factory. Not, not even a, not one modification. Awesome, this is so cool. I love it. Uh, except for a turbo timer. Yeah, <laughs> so, so the turbo timer, um, I turned it off and then it was running. See, but my R34 has the same thing where you have to lower the handbrake and then it turns off. Good old turbo timers. Now Mickey is behind the wheel of the Evo 9, is it a 9? It's Evo, an Evo 9, Evo 9 MR, MR wagon, which we never got, but you actually have a stage in. You essentially have like the Nissan version of this. Yeah, so to speak, yeah. What, what does it feel like right away? Um, this car feels a lot smaller in stature than the Stasia because it is. Um, definitely like the Stasia has a lot more interior space and room and it feels bigger, but it doesn't feel bigger in like a fat way. Like it doesn't feel heavier or anything like that. It still feels very sharp and sports car style. I have to say this is so premium. Is it? Compared to like a normal um, Evo yeah. like that we see. Like look at the leather seats. Yeah, They're I haven't so nice. even gotten to really look at that and, much. And it seems like the, like the rear seat, I'm sitting in the rear, is so comfortable. Is it? it I mean, it, it's it's nice. It's definitely, um, it seems like you could live with it more versus uh, just like a regular Evo. Yeah, I think with so. With seats. I will say, the rear seats of the Stasia will beat these. They're not leather, but they recline. Uh. <laughs> So I think from a comfort standpoint, the you know I think this is more sports focused. Yes. Uh, from a base platform, where it's based off of an Evo, where the Stasia or the 260 RS is based off of Stasia, which is a lot more like they call them grandma cars. Um, based off the Laurel. Well, this is more based off of a sports platform. Yeah. So definitely two different ethos, but definitely two pretty potent machines. Well, we got three big bags here, my camera equipment and everything, and there's still plenty of room. 
it's uh, appropriate of you to show up to the GTR Fest in uh, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Hey, at least we we got some folks on here. Mitsubishi Evo. We got we got Andrew's Z Proto here, which is super cool. Love this. Got his S15 Time Attack car, but we got all these white GTRs. I like that. This is Mickey's row right here. We got white R33, <laughs> white R33, white uh, like R34. I like that. Everyone yeah. has the black spoiler. Hmm. I wonder if that's a thing here. In America, everybody paints them. I feel like about half of them in Japan yeah. are painted, huh? So, I understand Nissan's thinking. They keep the lip black so that the car looks level. Um. Then when you paint it, it makes it more noticeable and it looks like it hangs down further than everything else. But it makes so, it look lower and yeah, I like so I that. So I think you paint it and put side skirts. That's mm. to make it even. Yeah. So we just got to Sydney Dragway and the crazy thing about this is it seems like it's like in the middle of the city or at least it's nearby so many other businesses. We don't really have that in the US. Most of our tracks are just like so far away from anything because of sound. But uh, it looks like a lot of cars are here already and they're just doing load in. So maybe we'll we'll check out some of the cars for load in and then of course I'll dedicate a full video to the actual event which is tomorrow. Robert. This is Robert's car. Hey Robert. This is pretty cool. I've never seen one of these before. Thanks mate. What is it? Hold on. V8, 356 cubic inch. They don't make Holdens anymore. No. That's a bummer. No, that's right. This thing is so cool. So what is this run in the quarter? 855, 154, 114, 60. It's such a big car. It's so big. The thing is crazy. That's awesome. Yeah, because they never came in left-hand drive because this was an Australian-only car, Correct. huh? Correct, yes. Huh. So cool. I could imagine, like, how cool would it be to drive this in the U.S.? It's like an Australian-American car. This thing is so cool. You have most of the interior in it still, huh? Like, all the door panels? Yeah, street-driven. Is it? Yeah. So, and then how much power does this make? 800. 800 horsepower, street driven. This thing is super cool. I love it. I, I've been playing Speedhunters Bingo for, I don't know, 15 years now. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. While. It's been a while. Um, basically, as you guys probably remember, Speedhunters was a collective of honestly the best photographers the best automotive photographers across the entire world contributing to one website and uh, matthew here was a contributor from or is a contributor still right yeah, yeah still, still, still kind of from australia and it, it's rare for us to all gather you know so I, I hang out with dino a lot i hung out with patty and a bunch of other guys a lot but i've never met matthew and He's actually walking us around the paddock here uh, at Sydney Dragway. Is that what it's called? Yeah, close enough. Um, so what is this? This is a Ford Falcon. It's uh, like a, it's an X-Series, like an XD or an XE. I've never seen anything like this before, but this obviously has force induction of some kind. <laughs> It'd be good to lift it up and check what's under here. This what's thing is here? super cool. So th this is on uh, Australian market only. Yeah. So this like this is a pretty, would have been a very common car back in the uh, back in the eighties. Like a lot of taxis would have been made out of these. Uh, and you can hear in the background the uh, VL <laughs> Commodore, yeah. which would have been its competitor on the streets at the time. So, um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's very unique. It's very Australian. It's it very... just looks so interesting. It's called a Fairmont. Uh, so, so Fairmont is like the badge. It's like the, the level of truth, so this would have been an upper class, uh, it would have had like a bunch of extra extra features on top of the regular Falcons, mm. but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a Ford Falcon. So, oh, Ford Falcon. Yeah, so it's Australian Fairmont. designed Got. and built. Um, 
it, it's so crazy the steering wheel is insane looking yeah that was that's like a very 80s it's so weird it possibly would have had like a digital dash that, so that was sort cool. of all the rage back in the the mid to late 80s yeah so that's so cool well nice to meet you yeah, glad to be welcome. here i'm gonna shoot a lot yeah, of cool fun. cars here yeah Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.